oh yeah, that's right. It's getting that aha moment of, oh my God, I'm totally worthy of love. Oh my God, I totally don't need their validation anymore. Oh my God, I really am better than I thought I was, that I was giving, my credit, giving myself credit for. Oh my God, I do have everything at my fingertips in order to succeed in life. Like, <laughs> hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another episode of my brand new TV show called All Things Love. And of course, I am Alicia Ying, your success coach and psychic at yestotheying.com, where success always starts by saying yes to you. And today's episode, I wanted to give you three easy steps, like a little easy step process when you get triggered as fuck. I'm sure you've been in that position where someone says something to you, something happens, and it could be the tiniest thing, and then you're like triggered as fuck. And you're like, and then it's, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like all of a sudden you just go red, right? And <clears throat> you can't think logically and you're just super pissed off. And then all of a sudden it becomes this downward spiral of the world is against me. Nobody likes me. No one's on my side. Everything like always falls to shit. And then it's just this whole big ass mess. So um, I personally was feeling that today. It was just a whole shit show. And so I wanted to share with you my three-step process on how to shift out of that when you get super triggered. Because let's be honest, who wants to be angry all day long? I certainly don't. Step number one is this. When you get triggered, right? When somebody says something, when somebody does something, first step is to sift through the limiting beliefs slash experiences that, you, that are getting triggered. You want to sift through the limiting belief or try to figure out where what is actually being triggered. And so what you can do is you can go, okay, that really didn't feel good. I feel like they were telling me that my idea was sucky um, and that, that doesn't make me feel validated. Okay, that's like a trigger point. And then you're like, okay, well, what else does it make me feel like? And then you can go back where you can kind of go back in your memory and be like, okay, oh, so this is kind of reminding me of like how whenever I have a good idea and nobody listens and when nobody listens to me or thinks that I'm stupid, it makes me feel abandoned. And ultimately my biggest fear is that I'm going to be abandoned for being who I truly am or like being super positive or whatever it is, right? So then you're like, oh, okay. I now see where that's coming from, okay? So once you find an incident or once you find a limiting belief, right, um, then you, this step number two is to soothe your soul. And what I mean by that is once you find the incident, it's a younger version of yourself. It's a part of you that still feels really fucking hurt and like not taken care of that is being triggered. So, and that's why it's so like violent, right? Like wanting to burn bridges and like just cut people off all day long. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go and soothe that part of you that still feels hurt, that still feels abandoned, that still feels fear, that still feels like there's an injustice done upon them and you want to soothe her. You want to like tell that part of you, hey, it's okay because even though that person abandoned you at that time, because that person didn't listen to you at that time, I'm listening to you now and I'm not gonna abandon you. You're talking as like current self, right? Talking to your like other self. And you just reassure her that you are not going anywhere and that you find her ideas incredible and exciting and awesome and that she should pursue it full blast and like forget about what like you know having a filter and just go for it or whatever it is that she would want to hear and then once you start soothing that part of yourself you'll notice that you'll start to feel a little calmer right and that like maybe like the whole like see, just seeing red will like mm, calm down and this is a very, very, very important step to do because if you don't soothe that part of you, you soothe that part of your soul, 
that feels hurt, that feels abandoned, that feels, you know, attacked, you're never really going to get to step number three, which is the whole select a new story. Right? Okay. I was trying to make all this like three S's, right? So, um, so now step number one is sift through your limiting beliefs. Step number two is to soothe your soul. And step number three is to select a new story. One of the great things about selecting a new story, telling a new story, choosing a new belief, what, however you want to say it, is that once you've soothed your soul, it's a lot easier to then go, okay, now that I know that I've got my own back, that I'm not going to leave myself, that I'm going to validate myself, that I'm going to remind myself that I really am worthy of the man, the money, the million dollar empire, whatever the fuck it is that you want. Okay, so what is it that I choose to believe instead? What is it moving forward? What story do I choose to tell and live and have that be my new belief pattern. Because again, remember, you are the lead actress, actor in your movie of your life, right? Okay, so for in this example, it would be, okay, so I fear that I'm going to be abandoned or if I am my true self, people are going to leave me. So my new story is going to be that the more that I put my true authentic self out there, the more that I'm going to attract loyal, loving fans and friends. The more that I put my true self out there, the more love I'm going to receive in return. The more that I actually exude who I really am, embody my true authentic self, show up as my real self every day, the more support that I get, the more that I'm taken care of, the more that people find me and love me and celebrate me for all that I am because I am being my true self and I am a good human. I have a good heart. I know that the things that I'm doing are to help other people and help the world and make this world a better place. So of course, when I'm actually putting my true self out there, all of the naysayers are just not even going to enter my universe. I am going to be surrounded so much by people who want to love me and protect me and like lift me higher and celebrate who I am. They're going to be such a solid defense wall. I'm not even going to know about the people who like don't even who all of the haters and who cares about the fucking haters anyway because the only reason why uh, they hate me is because I'm triggering a part of them that they need to heal right? So actually, I should be glad that I'm triggering them because if I'm triggering them, then that means that I'm doing part of my job because that means that then they can become more aware of the parts of them that they need to heal, of the parts of them that they need to say, hey, we need to love you a little bit more, right? And I'm never going to let myself down. I'm always going to make sure that my cup is filled first. I'm going to make sure that my my younger self, my soul, my inner child, whatever you want to call it, is always loved, is always supported, is always taken care of, is always heard. That's a lot. That's a big one, right? A lot of the times our bodies, our inner voice, like our soul, um, our inner child will be screaming at us, red alert, red alert. This is bad. These are like the red flags. Like don't go down this route. Like don't avoid this person. And we never listen. You know what I mean? There's a difference between like the overthinking of the ego brain and not letting that take, take letting that take over because um it's trying to protect us like that's a whole other separate video. I'm just talking I'm just talking about when your soul when your true self is trying to guide you and you don't listen, this is when we build up these stories of there are no good people to date. I'm never lucky in love. I can't make a million dollars. I, you know, it's, you know, it, everyone else always gets the best of everything. I always have to work really hard to get what I want. And then I never really want it anyway. That's where that stuff comes in because we've set ourselves up to like neglect what our soul is trying to tell us. And if we just took a second to like, actually go through those limiting beliefs to soothe that part of us that feels hurt, betrayed, unloved, and like give it the love that it needs, give it the support that it needs, hear what it actually needs, then create a new story. You will quantum leap 
to becoming a manifesting queen slash king like so freaking fast. And you'll start to notice how things become more in flow because you're less triggered because then you can get through those triggers a lot quicker so that you're not sitting in this misery and agony and anger for so long because who the fuck wants to be like that all the time i mean i know they say that new yorkers are angry all the time it's not true i lived in new york for four years i love new york um but they're just honest right and so i'm being honest with you right now and i'm telling you that it can be when you get triggered it can be really simple to like get back into alignment with who you really are and what you really desire so that you can be back on the fastest path to get you to where you want to go, right? To get you the man, the money, the million dollars, whatever you, it is that you desire. You can get all of the things, right? We'll discuss limiting beliefs in another video. So if you ever get triggered AF and you would like to very simply and quickly get back to a sane, peaceful, normal place emotionally, number one, step one is to sift through the limiting beliefs and find the experiences in your past that are getting triggered. Step two is to soothe your soul, soothe that part of you that feels unloved, that feels unsupported, that feels unheard. And step number three is then to, to select a new story. Select a story that helps you, that supports you, where Things always work out for you. Again, things are always working out for you is a new story. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. No matter what happens, I can't fuck it up. That's another really great one. I can't fuck it up. No matter what I decide, no matter what I do, even if I'm going to sit here and binge watch Harry Potter all day long, that's exactly what I, I can't fuck it up. So <clears throat> you can choose these new stories for yourself, embody them, feel how it would feel if no matter what you did, you couldn't fuck it up or no matter what you did, everything was always working out in your favor, or no matter what you did, money was always flowing into your bank account, or no matter what you did, love was always gonna find you. Are you not already feeling better? Because that feels really good to me, right? But until, but to get there, you have to go through steps one and two. So that's what I encourage you to do. Drop in the comments below what has triggered you lately, what experiences have you had that from your past that you would like to like change that story and um, let me know if this was helpful at all and how you deal with getting triggered AF. And like, yes, don't get me wrong, go to the gym, box it out. Like, again, I always say like CrossFit your little heart out, um, do some yoga, do all that stuff, but I'm telling you, you can cut people out of your life all day long. You can do all the meditation and yoga that you want, but until you actually go in and figure out and sift through those limiting beliefs and soothe that part of you that feels hurt, those, it will always rear its ugly head in some shape, way, or form until you actually learn the lesson. And what I mean by learn the lesson is just being like, oh yeah, that's right. It's getting that aha moment of, oh my God, I'm totally worthy of love. Oh my God, I totally don't need their validation anymore. Oh my God, I really am better than I thought I was, that I was giving my credit, giving myself credit for. Oh my God, I do have everything at my fingertips in order to succeed in life. Like, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, click the little button and click the like, like button if you liked this video. Always remember, you are brave, you are beautiful, you are safe and loved and protected. The universe always has your back. I love you very much, unconditionally, and success always starts by saying yes to you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.